Welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Topperwine. Sometimes design is a matter of refining a feature or component of a product. Then there are times when design includes every phase of a product's development. I'm Vince Penman. The first robotics competition challenges teams of high school students to design a robot within a six week time frame. Teams all over the country get a standard parts kit and common set of rules. At the end of the six weeks, each team goes to a regional meet to compete in a great robot arena. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, that's not even close to the whole side of the story. In addition to designing a robot in six weeks, each team has to raise funds, train members on manufacturing in CAD, and manage the robot's development project. We spoke with Evan Giarda and Eunice Kokor, members of the Buchanan Bird Brains, Team 1671, about designing their robot. The goal of this year's challenge, the Rebound Rumble, was to design a robot capable of shooting basketballs into one of four hoops of varying height. While an athlete like me makes basketball look easy, <laughs> for robots, it's a much more complicated task. Mobility, actuation, control, and communication must be designed and engineered into the robot so that it can shoot a ball into a hoop. But before the team could begin building their robot, they first needed to learn how to use CAD software. PTC set up tutorial sessions where members of the team could learn solid modeling and the power of CAD tools. While some team members learned CAD, others began fabricating a prototype model to test the physics associated with the robot's shooting action and mobility. Once the physics of the robot's critical systems were solved, it was time for the team to begin the process of solid modeling. One of the challenges was how to create so many components in a short time. To meet their deadline, the team divided up the components among the team members. That led to a predictable complication from having multiple CAD techs working on the same project. At one point, the team decided that splitting their electronic component boards would let them place control wires and their motors on one side of the robot to eliminate weight, making the robot's design much simpler. To do this, the team had to modify their previous design where both sides of the robot had motors and control wires. Having four CAD techs on the team ensured that the redesign would be done quickly, but the team needed confidence that they wouldn't interfere with each other's work. They decided to use PTC's Windchill file management system to ensure that all of the revisions for their robot were only made once, saving them time for manufacturing and testing their robot. Keen design and excellent execution led the bird brains to an undefeated record in regional qualification, and they looked forward to a great performance in the national championship in St. Louis on April 25th. You can see Creo Parametric and Windchill in action, the same software that first competition members used to collaborate and design their robots at ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric. If you like the show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.